Today I'm going to take a look at the 7 Artisans 35mm f1.4 lens for the Leica M camera. Full disclosure, 7 Artisans sent me this lens to review and take a look at. I will give you my honest opinion. They had no say in this video. They did not get to view it before I put it out there. And we will take a look at how this lens worked and I'll tell you my thoughts. I've been interested in the 7 Artisans lens for a while now. Uh, they've come out with a whole host of lenses for the Leica M camera that make it really interesting to use from super wide angle to telephoto lenses and these really fast lenses. The big thing about these lenses is the price. This lens, a 35mm f1.4, is only $429. The Leica 35mm f1.4 is $5,400. There's a $5,000 difference there. Is it worth it? Well, for sure, the Leica lens is sharper, the contrast is better, it's easier to focus, but this lens really holds up quite well. So I was really interested to take it out, shoot with it, and see what kind of results I could get with it. Let's start with some of the cons of this lens. Number one, when you take it out of the box, you'll notice that it's heavy. It's a big lens. It's bigger than the like a 35 millimeter f1.4, certainly bigger than the 35 f2 lens and much heavier. It's 75 grams heavier than the 1.4 Leica lens. The build quality is good. It comes out, it is quite solid, and it also has a metal lens mount, which is really good. One of the things that I notice is the aperture blades. When you're out shooting and you're not looking at the aperture, it's hard to tell that it's actually kind of clicking. With a Leica, it clicks. You know when you've gone from f4 to f5.6. With this, it kind of moves. You can feel a little notch there, but I wish that it would be much more precise in when you're turning the aperture blades. The focus on this lens is smooth all the way through, although it is a little heavy and it is a little tight. It is a little harder to focus. The downside of that, especially when you're shooting f1.4, which on this lens, that's really what you wanna be doing. You want that look. You want those great out of focus looks. When you're shooting at f1.4 and the focus is a little harder, it's hard to make that precise focus and get everything precisely in focus, where it is on my Leica lens, it is so smooth that you know right when it's in focus. The first thing you have to do when you get this lens is you have to calibrate the focus. There's a focus chart. You have to go two meters from the focus chart at a 30 degree angle, and then you need to dial in the focus. The instructions are on the chart how to do. I actually had to change. Uh, there are three screws at the back and I had to change the focus a little bit. It didn't take very long. It only took about 10 minutes, but once you have it dialed in, then the focus is good and it's ready to use. I've never had to dial in the focus of a lens before, but then again, the lens is not very expensive. So you would expect a few downsides to this. Right off the bat, when I was using this lens, the first thing that I noticed is it's not as sharp as my Leica lens. I have a 35 f2, a spherical lens, and I did some side-by-side -side comparisons, and I shot my Leica lens at f2 and this lens at f2, so it would be a fair matchup, and it isn't as sharp. The contrast isn't as good, and I find this lens, the color seems to go a little red. Now, you can fix those things in post-processing, or you can work at it a little more. It's still not gonna be quite as sharp, but that's something to know, that you're gonna have to do a bit more post-processing on these files to get them to look you know, near the Leica lenses. One of the other things that I noticed, especially when I was shooting buildings or when I sh was shooting lines, is you have some barreling on the lens. That's when the lines curve in your photograph. And I noticed that much more than my Leica lenses. So again, you can probably fix that a little bit, but you're gonna know that you are gonna get barreling and distortion using this lens. And I guess the last thing is, will this lens last? I bought my 35 F2 a spherical lens in 1996. 
That is 26 years ago and it has worked perfectly. It's, it's traveled the world with me. It's gone to Asia and Africa and South America and the North Pole and it has gone all over with me. It is a fabulous lens and it has not skipped a beat. It works perfectly. Will this lens hold up over the course of 20 years? I don't know. I would be interested to see. But then again, with the price of it, you could just buy a new one. Although I hate this kind of disposable society where we're just buying things and disposing of them in a year or two. I like my things to last. And yes, you have to pay a premium for that. On the plus side, it has a lens hood. It doesn't lock, but on the other hand, on my Leica 50 millimeter F2 lens, it doesn't lock either. But I do like the fact that it has a built-in lens hood that you can use. At 5.6 or F8, this lens is sharp. It becomes a really, really nice lens. But the whole point of this lens is these fast apertures, using them wide open, which they certainly aren't as good as a Leica. But at 5.6 F8, you would be hard pressed to tell the difference between the two lenses. The lens comes with the slip-on lens cap, lens caps I never use from a Leica because you are working through a rangefinder viewfinder. You don't know if you have a lens cap on. So I never use lens caps. It also comes with a rear cap, of course, and it comes with a great leather case. And the big thing with this lens is the price. This is where this lens really wins. $429, it's amazing that they can make a lens kind of of this quality for that kind of money. Is it as good as the Leica? No. Absolutely not, but you are going to pay a premium for a Leica. I'm not sure how Leica feels about this, but the great thing about these lenses, you can buy a used Leica camera, you can buy a lens like this, and you can be in the Leica system and working with a Leica camera. And I love the Leica system. I've been a long, long time Leica photographer. In the end, I would equate Leica with the finest Mercedes AMG cars. They're built to last, they look great, they run great, you're gonna get a lot of use out of them, but don't expect these lenses to be built like a Mercedes. But for the price, man, they are pretty nice, I have to say. Hope you liked this episode. Don't forget to give me a like, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have one of these lenses and how you like it. I'll see you next time. Cheers. <music>